Hello, my name is Kevin Day. This presentation is on Diameter Signaling Protocol in LTE. This presentation was part of my Securing Wireless and Mobile Technologies course at Metropolitan State University in St. Paul, Minnesota. This video presentation has been made available for informational and educational purposes only. Diameter Signaling Protocol is a protocol that enables communication among Internet Protocol elements. This is a peer-to-peer -peer communication with high security and has since replaced many other protocols in the wireless mobility that resulted in a mess technology. This protocol allows servers and software to communicate within the core of the LTE network. In IP networks, Diameter Signaling performs the role that SS7 7 signaling protocol performs in legacy networks. The advantages and disadvantages of diameter signaling protocol are the advantages of guaranteed loop-free routing due to nodes being capable of storing multiple paths to a destination, no routing tables required, the entire route is contained within the packet header of every packet, supports multiple routes to a destination allowing for load balancing, routes caching can reduce route discovery effort, nodes process a route request packet if it has not already seen the packet in the address and is not present in the route record of the packet. The disadvantages are not scalable to large networks, requires more processing resources than other protocols. Connection delay is higher than routing table protocols. Floods of route requests can reach all nodes. Perform degrade. Performance deg degrades with increased mobility. Stable route cache can result in route inconsistencies. And lastly, nodes spend time processing in control data even if it is not the intended recipient. Diameters, diameter signaling controllers versus radius. Diameter signaling controllers and radius are both authentication authorization and accounting protocols. DSR was developed from the RADIUS protocol with several improvements it, that were defined in RFC 6733 as a functional improvement to RADIUS. RADIUS is supported by DSR by connection layer called RADIUS connection layer, which uses the existing route services of the diameter routing layer and the existing diameter based message interfaces to and from the DRL. Radius response and request messages are encapsulated in the diameter request answer messages. Diameter request message content is created by RCL based on predefined rules using configuration data and radius message content. Diameter answer message content is created by radius connection layer based on defined rules using mostly the diameter request message content associated with the transaction. Radius request mass message routing is based on diameter request messages which encapsulate radius messages. IT staff must be familiar with the with how the diameter request capsulation is created so they can perform diameter routing layer to route radius request messages. Diameter routing layer provides requ required information to radius connection layer to allow forwarding of radius messages to the intended recipient. This prevents accidental routing of non-radius messages to a radius connection due to accidental misconfiguration. This is a diameter topology in a peer-to-peer -peer IP multimedia system networking. A peer-to-peer -peer network is created when two or more network elements are connected and share resources without going through a separate element. Here we see the IP multimedia system 
the mobility management entities and the home subscriber service in this network. Long-term evolution, otherwise known as LTE or fourth generation, is a standard for wireless communication. The introduction of LTE drastically increased network cap capacity for cellular devices. LTE offers up to 100 megabit speeds downstream and 30 megabits upstream provided reduced latency, greater bandwidth scalability, and is backwards compatible with GSM technology. The upper layers of LTE are based on TCP IP protocols resulting in an all-internet protocol network. With the development of LTA-A, throughput has been pushed up to 300 megabits per second, leveraging a multiple input and multiple output antenna technology. Both diameter and session initiation protocol are the core signaling protocols in the ISM network. Session initiation protocol is used to establish and control in real-time internet protocol communication sessions. Diameter is used to authenticate, authorize, and provide accurate billing information for those sessions. A diameter signaling controller is a key element for managing and securing diameter signaling. A protocol for controlling signaling in LTE and IP multimedia systems. The Di diameter signaling controller consists of a diameter routing agent to route traffic in the core network and a diameter edge element edge agent that manages activity at the edge of the network. The network elements include policy servers and changing system communication. Providers intermediately routing and protocol mediation functions allowing service providers to collapse complex diameter mesh technology into simpler technologies. And there is a diagram of diameter signaling controllers with the mobility management entities and the home subscriber servers all connected to the diameter signaling controller. A diameter edge agent provides the extra security communication service, service providers require connect, connectivity securely with third party partners when needing a shared resources such as roaming and billing use cases. It does this by enabling diame diameter signaling messages to flow smoothly among networks while adequately distinguishing the technologies of both networks. Diameter edge agents route signal messages between operator networks and provide diameter firewall and security functions. Further improving network security by collecting and present presenting security-related information from roaming interfaces. And this is a diagram of the network of using a diameter edge agents between a home network and a visiting network. Diameter routing agent is an application with all functionalities of diameter relay agents among with some additional features such as load balancing, route, route diameter traffic based on any field, routing diameter messages to a specific node, dividing traffic with various policies. It is a functional element in a 3G or 4G network that provides real-time routing capabilities to ensure that messages are routed among the correct elements in a network. Routing traffic and signaling messages for policy control and changing the core network. Facilitating the maintenance, additions, and removal of control planes, network nodes, and it reduces the time for the configuration of these nodes. The key benefits of diameter routing agents are centralized maintenance and management of signaling routing and fallover, used combine of AVPs to configure signaling routing, hide network technology, reduce the time needed to implement new network signaling nodes. Policy Control Protocol Diameter is used to perform policy function, resources, and accounting 
authentication and, and authorization, enabling a single server to handle multiple policies associated with multiple servers. Implementation looks like a client server and is mean to utilize existing routing radius dictionary as and user profiles, where every host or node can act either as a client or server depending on what its function is in the wireless network. A node can be defined with the following types, client, server, and agent. In a client node, this diameter diameter node receives the user connection and placed at the edge of the network that performs access control. In a server node, this node that processes the request and authenticates the user based on the information provided. If the authentication process exceeds, then the user's access privileges are based on predefined policies that are introduced in the response message that is sent to the client. In an agent node, there is a node called an agent where, which acts as an intermediary node that can do any of the following. Forward diameter requests and response based on routing related attribute variable pairs and not the associated routing table entities. A replay agent does not make policy decisions and does not examine or alter non-routing value at attribute value pairs. Relay agents do not originate messages. Relay agents use forward diameter requests and response messages to make policy decisions related to resource usage and provisions. Redirect agents enable clients and servers to communicate directly. Redirect agents do not alter any of the attribute value pairs and do not origin any message. A redirect agent is capable of handling any message type it gets. And lastly, transaction agents. Acts as a transaction between a diameter node and a radius node. These were the resources I used within this presentation. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this.